rig I like to use here for steelhead using the inline sinkers and a jig. Now I got three different colors of clear jigs in front of me and my favorite one has got to be the chartreuse for the low light conditions. This stands out majorly. I got that's a 30 gram. I have a hot pink here which is a 25 gram. Great all around color for any time of the day as well. Um, and this other one here is a 25 gram and this is the red. Great three colors to start with and again I got two 25 grams and a 30 gram. Those are generally when I'm running on the water majority of the time they work great. <coughs> Excuse me. So continuing here now I have one of my favorite steelhead jigs that I tie up and I got a couple inline sinkers. Now most people know there are different ways you can rig these. Inline sinkers makes your life a whole lot easier. You don't have to worry about tying a ton of knots. You tie your one directly from your main line to the top swivel and then your bottom one for your leader right off the jig there. So now this is a 3 8 ounce size which works great paired up with the 25 gram float and this is a half ounce size which works great on a 30 gram float. Now since I already have a leader tied on a 3 8 I will tie this up onto a 25 gram. And again, your float size will dictate what inline sinker you will be using as well as how heavy of a jig. So you have to balance out to make sure that you're fishing effectively while fishing the water column. So I already have my leader here for my main line. And what I like to use are these clear jiff float bobber stops. Now, these work great um, for around 10 pound to 12 pound test monofilament. Very easy to use. They have a wire loop on them if you can see as I get close here. You thread your main line through and you'll be able to then, <coughs> so your main line goes through the little loop now you're going to pull one of these bobber stops off and it's just going to slide up and now you have that on your line. So now this bobber stop, if I have enough force, I can move this up my line however far I want it to be. Okay. So now I will take my 25 gram float, I will thread my tag end of my main line in. I have it on the other side and as you can see now the float is stopped here by that bobber stop. So there's a trick that I learned from Bill Herzog and a few other people using. I actually put two of these on my line. I like to run a second bobber stop below my float in case for whatever reason I do hang up and my knot may absolutely fail at some point. It's possible. For my inline sinker, I don't want my float to also float away. So I add a second bobber stop down here on the line, and this allows me now to fish effectively. Whether I want it to be a slip float, I can just pull the top bobber stop as high as I want this to be, and now this float can slide up and down the water to whatever desired depth that I set it at. But for this general purpose and for most of the time that I'm fishing, I'm fishing this as a fixed float. So I have the spacing pretty close. And you want to be careful that you don't jam them too close on the float itself. But I give it to where this float is going to be sitting stationary in the water and not sliding around. <coughs> so now that I have the bobber tied on, Floats all ready. I'm going to tie my knot on to my inline sinker. And now with this, I just go ahead and tie my triple loop knot. And then I will go through. Pull it tight. Give it a little moisture so the knot cinches down correctly. 
take a scissor. Or the sharp scissors. And so now my inline sinker is tied on. Leader comes down to my jig. And I am ready to fish. And I can adjust my sinker and bobber stop to where the, now this float is going to ride straight up and down in the water. I can move the bobber stop up the line if I feel like I'm fishing deeper and make it a slip float. Or I can pull that bottom bobber stop back up. Now I have a fixed float again. So very versatile setup, and that other bottom bobber stop there helps prevent this float in case, say, you snag up on the bottom, boom, I just broke off my jig and inline weight, and now I still was able to save my bobber float here with those bobber stops. So that is how I like to rig up using an inline sinker with clear jib floats. So thanks guys for watching.